Hello, and welcome to financial accounting. I always think it's a nice idea to touch base about the syllabus requirements via video slash audio here. So I'm going to start with, of course, logging into your course through Blackboard. And I'll walk you through a few of the most important elements. Whenever you see something such as start here, of course, you would probably want to start there. There's information here about the textbook. I believe the instructions are fairly straightforward. You're going to notice here, and we'll touch base on that in the syllabus as well, that your course materials are inclusive, which means that you don't need an access code. You have access to the materials on day one. You'll access this all through this Wiley Course Resources tab. Once you use this Wiley Course Resources tab, you will not need to go into that again. That's simply for registration. I will actually probably take it out of the course or hide it from the course so you don't make a mistake in week two once everybody's registered. Third tab down here is your syllabus. Notice here is the textbook that you need, but again, you have access to it already. This is, of course, an online class. Here is my instructor information. This is my cell phone and my email. I have no problem accepting texts or phone calls on my cell phone. However, if it is a big question, meaning the question is going to be quite lengthy via a text. Sometimes it's better to just email that question, obviously. Or if you need an answer right away, I try to answer questions within an hour. So it would be beneficial if you email me that lengthy question, then quickly just shoot me a text that says, hey, I emailed you a pretty lengthy question. I'm not sure if you have time to answer it, but um, you know, I'm kind of stuck. So my big takeaway is that you should, I advise you, let's just say, I advise you not to wait to the last minute with any of your homeworks, because if I can help you, I would love to be able to help you, but I simply cannot help you, you know, if it's due at 11 p.m. and you're starting to tackle it at nine, I tend to not answer after nine o'clock. Some of the course content, objectives, assessment material, college competencies, I will let you read that on your own. Textbook and materials again is here. Probably what you're most interested in is the grading. We'll go through this in the Blackboard class, but here is what you're going to be graded on. Pre-class assignments, homework, adaptive learning assignments, we'll go through all these in a minute, exams, and a final exam at the end. Down at the bottom here of your Blackboard class is the schedule. You're going to notice that there's a pattern to it, which of course accountants love patterns, right? And uh, to keep everything neat and tidy. So you're going to have some type of homework Monday through Saturday of every week with Sunday, either a study day or a day off or whatever you like. The Questions and the material is open for the entire week. And actually, you're going to see all of the modules populate in Blackboard early. So you can work as far ahead as you'd like, but I will not accept late assignments. So again, work as far ahead as you'd like, but accepting late assignments, except for medical emergencies or things of that nature, um, I, I will not accept because it's simply not fair to the students who had to sacrifice maybe a kid's soccer game or a birthday party to get their um, work done. So it's all there and the first two weeks run pretty much the same way. Then we get into week three here and you notice that it's exam week. So you're given, well, if you wanna consider Sunday, three days to study. You'll have some practice exams to study with. And then the exam will actually be due Wednesday at 11 p.m. <clears throat> then we go through our chapters again and we have exam two and so on. I obviously don't need to read that to you. So just keeping in mind that you have something due every day except for Sunday 
kind of getting in that mindset. So let's go back to the Blackboard class. So your grades can be found there, announcements, a little bit about myself. Let's tackle week one. Within week one, I'm gonna kind of scroll back here. Within week one, you're gonna notice that here in week one, we're gonna be covering two chapters except for exam week in which we cover one chapter. So in each week, you're gonna notice that there's two chapters material and they're set up the same throughout the entire course for simplicity. So each week you will start with the learning objectives and just a quick sentence or two about what you'll be learning from me. Some of the requirements there. Here is a link to the textbook. I'll pull up just so you can see that it does take you to the link of the textbook there. Notice on the side here, you can skip ahead, you can go to a specific learning objective, whatever you'd like there. You're going to have then your PowerPoints. Now in your PowerPoints, you're going to notice that there are problems to complete. Won't put them in uh, presentation mode, but I'll just scroll through. And you can um, go through all of this. You notice here's a problem. If anytime you see the word do it in class, organizational forms, what I'd like you to do is just like that. List like you're in class, try to tackle that, right? Some of them um, are easier and quicker. Some of them are a little bit lengthier, but they all have some type of template that you can work from. So example, in, in the back here, you're gonna prepare an income statement and there's your lines to be able to work it. I find it best to print it out, but if you are one that wants to type it in or do whatever you not want, then you're certainly welcome to do that. Then within that chapter, you're gonna notice that there are PowerPoint solutions. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this review up here to put the review in order. You're gonna notice with the PowerPoint solutions, it is just a PowerPoint of the do it in class solutions. For example, um, there's going to be some eye clicker class engagement questions, which you're going to find in this section which are the problems that if we were in class, we would actually be doing them during class time. But I'd like you to take these types of questions, try to answer them. And on the next slide, you'll see the answer then. And there's a couple, there's five per chapter. Here's your do it in class organizational um, first question that you had. Remember on your version, it had the little lines there on this one, it does not. And then following that question, you're going to get the answers there. Right. So uh, my clicker, you'll notice. Oh it's not progressing. Why is it not moving down very well? All right, let's see, do it in class. And there we go, there's the solution, now it's moving. Again, do it in class, there's your solution and so forth, right? So um, hopefully that if you do these in order, you'll find that you will find out where your problem type of situations are. For example, if you were to get to this type of question, you got the entire thing wrong, it'd definitely be a learning objective that you would need to go back and review. So that covers what is in the PowerPoints. The reason that I moved this chapter one review above the PowerPoints is because these are recorded lectures on each learning objective. And you want to put here that yes, you want to listen to the audio. I'll play here. A business may be organized as a sole proprietorship partnership. It would be just like I would be giving you the lecture and it, they, the sound is a bit mechanical, but at least you don't have the ums and things like that that typically you would get in a lecture. So what I'm gonna do is each week, I'm going to produce a video, just pointing out some of the troubleshooting points that really need to get covered, honestly, probably three to five minutes, but these are gonna be the majority of things that you're gonna review. Then you get into your actual assignments. You have a pre-class assignment, which these are pretty easy, meaning um, they're 
covered in what's called the brief exercises part of your book. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to the actual question. Click on the question, you know, um, I'm not in the student view. There we go. You know, just answer. I'm just picking the first one here. Submit your answer and go on to the next question. You will get the answers after the due date. So once you submit, you're not going to get them, but you're going to get them um, after 11 p.m., which is when everything is due. Same with the homework. <clears throat> Notice they're going to be a little bit lengthier there, as you would expect, right? Just a little lengthier than your brief exercises something to practice with. And finally, your adaptive learning questions. These are at the end so that you can determine what you're still struggling with, if anything, and or um, what you need to uh, circle back by. But you need to answer 80% of the questions correctly in order to receive the five points. And it drops thereafter as well. So you're just going to go through, answer the questions, and then you're going to um, get hopefully five points on those, okay? And my, my uh, adaptive learning questions look a bit different. It didn't have the student view on it, but you will see the questions there. All right, and you'll notice that you're going to progress through chapter one, chapter two, in exactly the same way, right? Can be putting those up there. All right, and the, I'm gonna add the uh, PowerPoint solutions there. All right, so that gives us a general idea of the expectations that you'll see throughout the class. Down here is the Zoom meeting link. If you ever want to touch base, kind of just click on that. I don't have to send you a Zoom link. It's all right there embedded in the course. If you have any trouble whatsoever, I ask that you please contact me. I don't want to see you struggle. Accounting is not one of the easiest content courses in terms of material and uh, online. I don't want you to feel like you're on an island. So make sure that you reach out to me as soon as you can so that we can tackle whatever we, we need uh, together. Best wishes.